Good morning, guys. We're going to go on an adventure today, um, but it needs a little explaining. So we are moving in to our new apartment on Monday, and it becomes it comes completely unfurnished. So in Australia, when you do unfurnished, it comes without a fridge, out a washer and dryer, like completely unfurnished, no white goods, no appliances. Um, sometimes it comes with a dishwasher, but very rarely. So that being said, on Monday, we're moving into a place with nothing in it. So we need to find a car to rent to pick up stuff from different people around Melbourne. So we looked on Gumtree, gumtree.com. You can find some really good used stuff on there and Facebook Marketplace. Those are the two places we've been looking. G-U-M-T-R-E-E. -E. I think I mentioned it before. It's very similar to the Craigslist. So you can go look on there. But the big issue we had was trying to find a place to rent a truck. We could do from like budget or, you know, some of the, the bigger names, but it was like $70 a day and all of their trucks are manual. And I can drive manual, but here in Australia, from the US, we drive on the other side of the uh, car. And so you're shifting with your other hand and I just wasn't sure how that was gonna go. I was willing to give it a go if that was our only option, but we found something else. So we found this thing called GoGet. GoGet is basically similar to a car to go if you're familiar with that in the US. You get a card, a membership card, you sign up online to rent a vehicle, you tap on the windshield, and then you have that vehicle for a certain number of time. There's a payment for the gas, I believe, as well as the kilometers, or like a, just a straight fee, and then um, you pay per, the kilo per kilometer that you drive. It's a way easier way, it seems, to rent. Also, I found this out. You can pick up your welcome pack at IKEA. You can also sign up online through IKEA Family and get the first year free. So there's different packages you can sign up for this, go get. And if you sign up through Ikea, you get uh, the first year free. So I would suggest signing up for Ikea Family, which is free, and then using your Ikea Family to sign up for Go Get, and then you can go pick up your packet at Ikea if you need it quicker, or they'll send it to you in the mail. So all this stuff can be done online. Here's the steps. Go on Ikea, sign up for Ikea Family, click on their thing in, their, your, in our services. There's a rent a van, you can click that. It will bring you links to Go Get. Go to Go Get fill out their application for the one year go starter once you fill that out there's going to be a promo code the promo code used with fam with ikea is family if you use that you get the first year free so the 50 dollars is not charged to you which is super huge and for me i need the, the truck on monday and that's only a few days away so i need to go to ikea and pick up the packet once you pick up the packet you give them a call and they activate it for you pretty simple i'm heading to ikea to pick up that packet The only thing that sucks about this whole thing is I have to go all the way to Ikea, which is in Richmond. It's like a 30 minute jam to get out here. So it's a pretty far thing just to pick this up. But I think in the end, it'll be worth it. Like, especially if you planned ahead and knew about this, then you can just get it sent to your house or apartment or whatever, or Airbnb and you'd be all set. St. Kilda and the postcode is 392. Okay, so pretty simple. I picked up the card, this pack here, at the IKEA customer service area. Uh, they just filled out some information. I called the number on the inside here, and then they just activated the card. Pretty simple, and I'm good to go. Now I guess I can just book online through an app or use this card here. Put it on the windshield, somewhere the car to go, and then just you can use the car for as long as you need. That's it. download the app so you can see what it looks like it's pretty rudimentary just dots similar to like a car to go type thing and then you'd find a booking for the type of car that you want the only thing is you can't see the vehicle so you don't really know if you don't know the vehicle you have to like google it and see what it looks like because i'm trying to get like a utility vehicle and it's saying a rav4 but that's not in my mind a utility vehicle rav4 is like a little suv so hopefully this works yeah, I just booked it from like 9 to 11 for Monday, and I'll like walk you guys through that process when I finally get there, but I'll take my card with me and it should work out just fine. I'm gonna get ready to go to a tutoring. I'm not gonna take you guys along with me because, well, you've seen it before and we've already done a pretty sweet video today. For now, the vlog is over. <laughs>